Seniors Rock Show, presented by the Law Office of Michael Robinson, PC, on News Radio, Wham 1180. The Seniors Rock Show, a lively weekly discussion, shedding a bright light on aging with fun, entertainment, and important info for all adults. Join in with your comments or questions. Call or text 222 1180 or 1 800 295 1180. Now, from the News Radio Wham 1180 studio in downtown Rochester, here's your host, Joanna Palvino. Good afternoon and welcome to Seniors Rock Radio. Thank you for joining me today and joining my co-host too, estate planning attorney Mike Robinson and our studio producer Pam. Uh, our goal today and every Saturday is to shine a bright light on aging and to make it a little more fun for everyone. It's all, not always easy, but we try. And, uh, you know, we really do believe that age is an asset and we think it's good to celebrate every day. And I mean every day because each one's a gift, right? Well, today is National Just Because Day. Who knew? And um, we're going to have some fun with that. We will give you some tips on what you can do to celebrate Just Because Day later in the show. And um, and uh, first, though, we have to get to uh, business. And we'll be talking to, as we do every week, our co-host here, Attorney Mike. He's got another great lesson on the basics of estate planning. And that's been really interesting. We're getting good feedback on that. And I think we're on number four this week. So if you missed any, you can go to SeniorsRockRadio.com and start at the beginning and um, learn a lot about estate planning in a very uh, a great way. He's a good presenter. And then we will have another great presenter, Carol Bartlett. She's the executive director of the Greater Rochester Area Partnership for the Elderly, or GRAPE, which is easier to say. And she's going to join us, and uh, she'll be here to tell us all about that organization and how you can join if you like. Also, we'll have Dr. Adam Stearns. He's a doctor of physical therapy with agape physical therapy, and he specializes in lymphedema. And that basically is swelling. So if you've got any of that going on, stay tuned for that. Uh, it is going to be an interesting hour ahead. But let's start with Mike Robinson because he's important and he's always interesting. Hello, Mike, and happy Saturday. Hey, Joanna. Happy Saturday. So it's National Just Because Day. That's right. Just because. So you can do anything you like, say anything you like, just because. So take, right. a, take a shot at it. Go for it. Yeah, no, I like that. I think it's good to be reminded that it's okay to do something just because. And that yeah, break out of the mold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, a couple of weeks ago on the show, we were talking about um, the importance of incorporating playfulness into our lives and doing something just because certainly would fall into that category. Absolutely. It's a so great it, it, can do it today. Do it. Exactly. And of course, sometimes there are specific reasons for what we do. And, and that is true when it comes to estate planning. That was a pretty good segue, right? Pretty smooth. All right. Yeah. So you're pretty smooth, Mike. There you go. So we're going to continue <laughs> our series on the basics of estate planning. And we started with a discussion of what is an estate and discovered that we all have an estate and that estate consists of everything that we own. Uh, we then looked at the problems presented without a proper estate plan when we become unable to manage our own affairs and the resulting expense and stress on us and our families. And then we examined uh, the tools that we can use to plan for incapacity. So this week, I want to begin discussing what happens with our estate when we die. And I'm going to start by discussing what happens when you do no planning at all? No will, no trust, no planning at all. And Joanna, that's what's called dying intestate. And when you die intestate, New York State's intestacy law specifies how your estate will be distributed. And the provisions of the intestacy law are often shocking to people, particularly married couples because so many married couples that I talk with think that if they die, everything automatically goes to their surviving spouse. Mm -hmm. Yep. But Joanna, even if you're married, if you also have children, that's not how it works. Under New York's intestacy law, if you are married and you also have children, your spouse does not receive your entire estate. He or she gets the first $50,000 in value from the estate, and then the remaining assets get divided 50-50 between your spouse and your children. 
and not a good situation for your spouse and probably not what what you want. Mm -hmm. And even that's not automatic because in order for your spouse or someone to get access to and control over your, your assets, they first need to commence a proceeding in surrogate's court called intestate administration. And in order to commence that proceeding, you need to prepare and file a petition with the surrogate's court asking to be appointed the administrator of the estate. Various family members need to sign a document agreeing to your appointment. There's a fee that needs to be paid to the court based on the size of your estate. Uh, if there are any children under the age of 18 involved, the judge has to appoint a lawyer for each child who has to interview the child and file a written report with the judge. Um, and only after all of those proceedings take place is the, uh, and the judge is satisfied that you're an appropriate person to appoint, will the judge order then uh, or issue the order formally appointing you as the administrator, and that's called letters of administration. And, and really, I'm oversimplifying here. There's more that goes on in this proceeding. And once the administrator is appointed, they are legally bound to follow the provisions of the of the intestacy law. So if someone thinks that the kids can just agree to let the surviving spouse have everything, it's not that simple. The administrator has to prove to the judge that they actually have distributed the estate assets in accordance with the intestacy law. And so those assets do have to go to the kids. Now, if you're married and you have no children or grandchildren, then yes, everything will go to your spouse, but they still have to commence the administration proceeding uh, to be able to receive your assets. And, you know, you can just imagine your, your husband or your wife or your child dealing with all the emotional issues that come up when you have died. And now on top of that, they've got to deal with all these court and legal proceedings. That's obviously not a good situation. Uh, but again, there's always ways to deal with that and plan ahead. And so next week, we'll take a look at, at one tool that we can use to avoid some of those problems, and that's a will. Uh, so we'll examine not only what are some of the benefits of wills, but also what are some of the major pitfalls with using a will as your primary estate planning tool. Wow, good stuff, and it, it is an eye opener, Mike. Thank you for explaining that, and thank you for you know doing this in, in the series that you're doing. And again, folks, if you uh, didn't hear the first three, you can go to seniorsrockradio.com. You can also contact us there. Contact Mike if you have a question. And right now, we have a couple more minutes in this segment, so if you'd like to call, maybe you're thinking about something you'd like to ask Mike about what he's speaking about today. Why don't you call us? It's five eight five two 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 eleven eighty. We are live. So give us a buzz, or you can call it 1-800-295-1180. And this stuff's interesting. And I don't think you really said, you said a lot about the time that's, con you know, that would happen, uh, be taken from you if you have to go through all of these things. You talked about the emotional impact. That's huge. You didn't say a lot about the money involved. And it sounds to me like this is going to be very expensive. No, Joanna, you're right. I didn't. I didn't mention the uh, the expense. And you know, any time we have to go to court, there's expense involved. And mm -hmm. and and you know, one of the things I when I talk about you know probate or intestate administration, I just talk about the fact there's a lot of moving parts. And uh, a farmer I knew many many years ago, he was a fellow. He didn't use. Uh, power takeoff equipment. Everything was, was um, you know, wheel driven. And, and he always would say to me, you know, the more moving parts there are, the more opportunity there is for one of those parts to break down. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how I look at, at estate administration as well. The more we can remove a lot of those moving parts, um, things are going to go more smoothly. There's less opportunity for problems. And you're correct. It greatly reduces the expense involved. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of moving parts in an estate plan. And luckily, we have Mike Robinson here. He's one of the top estate planning and elder law attorneys in this area. So again, if you have questions for him, feel free. He's here with us every week. You can send him an email. You can go to mrobinsonlaw.com or you can actually meet him in person. Well, not person, but virtually in person on the next uh, free 90-minute estate planning uh, webinar, and that's going to be, get your calendar out, Wednesday, August 31st, and that's at 2 o'clock, 
You can learn how to safeguard your assets. You'll learn more about what he's talking about today. And, you know, is a will enough? You know, ah, you make that decision. But if you see the information he presents, I think you'll have a much better idea of what you want to do. Keep your affairs private and out of court. Again, saving you money. So go to mrobinsonlaw.com or call his office and, the, and uh, they'll take care of you there. If you need a link to see the webinar another time, that's fine too. 585-374-5210. And uh, Mike, any other thoughts on uh, the subject today? Well, just picking up on something you said, you know, the people are going to be able to make the best decisions, you know, for themselves and their families when they have all of the relevant information. Mm -hmm. And that's, of course, what we try to do on this show, uh, whether it's legal uh, topics or, or health related topics. We want to give people good information so that they can make decisions about what would be best for them and their family. Yep. It's a very unique thing that we're doing here, and I hope uh, that you'll share that with your friends and family. If you do enjoy the show, we try to bring you experts. They're free, just like Mike, and we got some more coming up. So you're listening to Seniors Rock Radio. We're here every Saturday on News Radio WAM 1180. We'll be right back with Carol Bartlett from the Grape Organization. Our area's first direct primary care practice, Athena Direct Primary Care and Lifestyle Medicine, is open. Direct primary care is an innovative alternative to traditional corporate-style primary care, where you pay a monthly membership fee. There are no fee-for-service payments, no third-party billing. So less paperwork leaves time for extraordinary direct access to your own private physician, a members-only phone line, and unlimited unhurried appointments and other services are included too. That's all for one low rate. Athena Direct Primary Care is accepting new patients for a limited time only. Book your free meet and greet with Dr. Laura Petrescu today. Learn about this wonderful new practice, including membership benefits and the costs at athenadirectcare.com. That's athenadirectcare.com. Or you can call. It's 585-662-5510. Pam always makes us stop the music. Hi, I'm Joanna. This is the Seniors Rock Show. But we do have a show to do, and we have a first guest up here uh, waiting to talk. And uh, her name is Carol Bartlett. She's the executive director of a local organization supporting everything senior, and that is GRAPE, or the Greater Rochester Area Partnership for the Elderly. Before joining GRAPE, Carol spent most of her career in the hospitality industry, which is a good place to start. And a na she's a native of this area, and she's married uh, with two adult children and two two twin grandchildren that she's very proud of. And I think um, their little little kids she's enjoying very much. And she didn't mention though in her intro, I wanted to say before we have her on that she steered the grape organization through some really tough times. She was fairly new at it and uh, she did a great job during the pandemic. So uh, she helped us stay the course and grow under her leadership. So I'm really happy to have her here today to tell listeners what grape is. Welcome Carol Bartlett and thanks for joining us. Uh, hi, Joanna. Hi, Mike. Thank you for having me on the show. Oh, always great to have you on, Carol. You know, uh, Carol, I know uh, Joanne is a member of GRAPE. My law firm and other law firms in the area are GRAPE members. I think all of our sponsors are GRAPE members. Yep. Yeah, who who else are members of GRAPE? So so GRAPE is a, actually a non-for-profit professional membership organization for um, people who work with and for older adults. So as you mentioned, um, Seniors Rock Radio and Mike Yord Law Firm are members, as well as people from senior living communities, home care agencies, financial planners, really anyone that works with the older adult population. I see. And I know this, and, I, and, I, and I'm really proud of 
what happens when you become a member because we all work together and a lot of the communities and as Mike mentioned, law firms, you know, they may be competitive when it comes to business, but we all work together and it's all for the low, the good of, uh, you know, all in the, in the area community. So uh, I guess I'm going to ask you to recap membership benefits, Carol. Sure. And you know, the member, the members support their own organization. And you mentioned Joanna kind of going through tough times for the last three years, along with everybody else. But really, I, I'm the staff person, but the great members really stepped up and supported Grape through that difficult time. Um, so if you're a member of Grape, you ha- we have kind of three pillars, advocacy, education, and networking. So we do advocate for seniors. Um, you know, we take an interest in any of the issues that are, are related to the older adult population. Education, we provide two monthly education meetings um, with speakers, uh, breakfast meetings and lunch meetings. We take a break in the summer, so those are starting back up in September. Um, We could have a doctor speaking about dementia. We could have somebody talking about the benefits of pet therapy. Um, We have a diverse membership, so we have, you know, diverse speakers as well. Um, The networking, I would say, is one of the key benefits of GRAPE. Um, Joanna, you mentioned that people compete with each other, but in a friendly way, people are refer each other. I've never seen an organization that refers um, each each other um, like the great members do. If you, if you become friends with somebody, you know, Mike might have a client that needs a home care agency, and he knows who yep. he would trust to, to refer. Yeah, and you, and you get to know people well, to know what, you know that they're good uh, in business and good people. Yeah, absolutely. And the members, the members also are uh, uh, work to keep the organization going by volunteering to be on committees. We have committees for um, membership. We have committees for program. They're the ones that find locations and speakers for our meetings. Um, Joanna mm-hmm. has kindly stepped up to be the <laughs> chair of the advocacy committee this year. So um, yeah. really, it's you know, we have a, a, a slew of volunteers that help keep things moving along. Yeah, there's a housing committee. There's like, what, 10 committees, I think. And yeah, boy, we you have learn a lot. Yeah, yeah, you. I mean, the housing yeah. committee, I did that a couple of years ago, and we, we would have the meetings at different places. And just like the luncheons, you get to really see and experience some of the things that are out there and the folks that are, uh, you know, working on your behalf in the senior arena. And, uh, Carol, you did a, uh, you're doing a great job, so thank you for that. And I still want to know why everyone snickered when I volunteered to be the chair of the advocacy committee. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> anyway, I'm looking for a co-chair, by the way. Anyway, but there has to be someone in the committee already right now. So um, let's talk about the elder elder pages. Um, we, there's so many great things. And I want to mention, too, we had a, you know, for two years, we couldn't get together in person. But we have a gala at the end of the year in June, which was absolutely, absolutely beautiful at the, at the Strathallen this year in that big tent. And that was uh, beautifully done. And we all had a great time. We got to dress up and, you know, see everybody um, and enjoy that, too. So it's not all work. Uh, it is work and fun. And there's a lot of uh, the marketing committee also puts on a lot of events during the year, right? Yep. And the, actually, this is the um, Great was founded in 1992. So our gala this year, we really we celebrated the 30th anniversary of Great. So um, it was founded, you know, 30 years ago by a couple of people who thought it was important to connect senior resources. Um, real quickly, the elder pages, we do have a consumer element to our organization. We have a directory online. It's theelderpages.com. Um, people can go on that website and look for, you know, if they're looking for a home care agency, if they're looking for an elder law attorney, they can go on there and see. All great members are in there, but there's also non-great members, too. It's a pretty comprehensive list. And we will be printing copies of that directory um, later this year. We That was another um, hit we took from COVID. We couldn't get it printed um, in 2020. So we're looking to get it printed by the end of this year and share with you. All right. Carol, thank you. Great information. They, and the elder uh, pages are fantastic. You can contact Grape at grapeelder.org. And uh, we've got to go uh, for a news break, but stay tuned to News Radio Wham 1180, Seniors Rock Show. We'll be right back. In these uncertain times, we're all concerned with protecting our family's legacy and hard earned assets from nursing home costs, unnecessary taxes, and the expense and delay of probate. 
At the law office of Michael Robinson, PC, we've spent over 34 years helping families just like yours preserve their wealth and leave a lasting legacy for those they love. Register for a free educational webinar to learn how you can protect you and your family. mrobinsonlaw.com. That's mrobinsonlaw.com. Well, 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 that's because you think you're so pretty. And just because your mama thinks you're hot. Well, just because you think you've got something that no other girl has got. You cause me to spend all of my money. Welcome back to the Seniors Rock Show. If you're just joining us, I'm estate planning attorney Mike Robinson here with Joanna Pelvino. And our guest for this segment is Dr. Adam Stearns. And uh, Dr. Stearns is a physical therapist with over eight years of experience in the clinical field. He received his doctorate in physical therapy from Nazareth, Nazareth College. And uh, Dr. Stern specializes in lymphedema therapy and management. And like all of the staff at Agape Physical Therapy, Adam invests in the needs of his patients and uses his positive attitude and determination to encourage his clients to work hard and achieve their goals. In his free time, Adam enjoys writing and playing music, exercising and rescuing stray cats. And as Joanna said, that's not Brian Setzer's band. So, Adam, <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. Hello, Adam, and thank you for joining us. We're really glad to have you here, uh, especially with your specialty, because I think a lot of folks that are aging are dealing with lymphedema, and I think we'll start with uh, telling them what that is exactly, and I'll let you do that, and tell us a little bit about how it starts, what to look for, what's it like. Absolutely. You know, our lymphatic system is very important. I like to think of it as a filtration and purification system. Uh, it filters out bacteria, dead cells, and redistributes that back into circulation. And our immune system is impacted by our lymphatic system. And it's very important in the prevention of illness, just maintaining our overall health. And when there's damage to the lymphatic system, we get swelling. And that swelling, then we call lymphedema, and that doesn't go away on its own. It's really an insufficiency of the lymphatic system to absorb that fluid properly, and it could be due to a variety of reasons. Most commonly is damage to the lymphatic system itself. And this is very common in cancer radiation therapy where there's actual removal of the lymph nodes. Um, even systemic infections, cellulitis is very common in, in hospitals, and even venous insufficiency um, can lead to lymphedema. And lymphedema itself is slow. It's a slow onset and commonly starts in our fingers, commonly starts in the feet, in the toes. We call it distally, away from the body, far away. And then over time, it spreads towards the body. And in the early stages, there can be pitting. What we call pitting edema is pushing into the skin and leaving an indentation. And if left untreated, that can lead to fibrotic changes of the skin, hardening of the skin, um, difficulty with movement, inability to move the fingers and the toes, and um, just a decrease in overall functioning with lymphedema. Is it, it is osteoarthritis another one that can cause this? Absolutely. You know, with mm -hmm. osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, we tend to get pain and we tend to maybe not move as much. And if we're doing a lot of sitting and avoiding those activities that tend to make us ache and sore, then yes, of course, we can get swelling in the feet. We can get swelling in the legs and mm -hmm. um, it can absolutely be treated with compression therapy. Yeah, and, and, and in fact, I was just going to ask you, what is the course of treatment like for someone who's been diagnosed with lymphedema? Sure. You know, the treatment program we employ is called complete decongestive therapy. It's been in practice since uh, the late 70s, I believe, and it's a completely hands-on technique where, you know, from day one, when the clients are coming in, we're working on 
getting used to wearing compression every day on the limb, putting on a compression garment or wrapping the, the limb, whatever works best for the client. And then also working on a hands-on approach, like I said, with it's we call it MLD, which is manual lymphatic drainage. You can kind of think of it as just a light massage, something to stretch the skin. And that's something we teach clients to do on their own to improve their independence and to improve the, the overall reaction to the treatment program at home. We're teaching them this independence so that when mm -hmm. they are done with what we call the intensive phase of therapy, which is that first, you know, four weeks of therapy, depending on how clients progress, then we're looking at the home care phase. What can we do at home after therapy is done to keep on with our progress? And that involves um, exercising every single day because that helps to strengthen our lymphatic system, helps to strengthen our cardiovascular system, and it just improves the ability for the lymphatic vessels to uptake fluid, especially mm -hmm. if they've been damaged. It helps the other uh, nodes in the lymph vessels that haven't been damaged to become stronger. I see. And so it sounds like if you if you follow directions, you could have a normal life with lymphedema, doctor. And uh, I think, you know, I want to mention here, physical therapy folks, when you go there, they really do support you and get you comfortable in doing these exercises. And a lot of them are quite easy. But if you can continue to do those at home, like he said, then it really is a wonderful way to, uh, you know, just have a better life and a normal life, if you want to call it normal, uh, but at least be le have less pain, right? Right. You know, I'm laughing because I, I tend to use the word normal sparingly because it's so subjective. And, yeah, but, you know, I was going to say air quotes on that one. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. You know, treatment of lymphedema, it's a complete lifestyle change. And ultimately, this program is all about restoring and improving that quality of life, restoring what once was, you know, getting back to those leisure activities and exercising, walking, bike riding, swimming, whatever the case is, you know, getting back into those activities that improve our health and quality of life. It's, it's absolutely manageable and and treatable i have a quick question what about the compression yeah. stockings and that kind of thing do you recommend that and do you remember recommend i mean do you fit people for that kind of thing too you know what i wear them myself <laughs> i try to practice what i preach and i yeah. always recommend to folks especially if you're on your feet all day or if you're sitting all day um mm -hmm. the compression socks are great and you can find even if you're an amazon shopper i always say start there you can find some good deals on um, even a low compression gradient like five millimeters of mercury is a good place to start it's a low great. compression gradient but it just really helps to keep our lymphatic system healthy while we're working all day or whatever the case may be all right hey adam thanks so much we've got to go to break uh but you can contact Thank you. Agape physical therapy at 585-507-6155 we'll be right back after this on the seniors rock radio show Rockvox Recording and Production is Western New York's first purpose-built podcast and live stream studio featuring Zcam, digital cinema cameras, Rode Procaster microphones, and over 25 years of audio and visual production experience. Rockvox also specializes in audiobook production for independent and self-published authors, as well as voiceover recording for radio, TV, film, and telephony. Learn more about our Bushnell's Basin Studios and services at rocvox.com or follow us on social media, mouth off at Rockvox. Box. I rage a little sand. I might be tired, lady. Try to understand. It doesn't mean that you've done something wrong. Welcome back to the Seniors Rock Show. And August 27th, which is today, if you're keeping track, is National Just Because Day, an opportunity to do stuff just because. You know, every day we, we all do things that are expected or required of us. And, um, you know, when sometimes we don't even know why we're doing it. But on this occasion, 
Those rules don't apply. This is a chance to do something without any rhyme or reason. You know, I, I've got one. What if you just go, you've been looking at an outfit at the mall and you are admiring it. I say buy it just because. <laughs> I don't do a lot of outfit shopping at the mall, but I like that idea. <laughs> You know, but maybe Amazon, you want to maybe you want to take a day to go fishing or golfing or something like that. Then do it just because. Yeah. Or all right. How perhaps you'd like to pay the tab for the table next to you when you go out for dinner today or lunch at your favorite restaurant. Do it just because. And Joanna, I've got one. Maybe you want to sing really loud in your car. I know I've done that a couple of times <laughs> uh, by yourself with your windows rolled down. Just do it just because. I love it. There's lots of ways, folks, to observe National Just Because Day. So enjoy whatever you decide to do. Or you could say whatever you like, too. Sometimes we need to say things just because. So I've got a couple of things to say myself. If you're planning a gathering or considering a food truck just because, then check out Effortlessly Healthy's award-winning food truck. They're serving up healthy food that will rock your events. And you'll see them around town, too, at all the festivals. So book Effortlessly Healthy Food uh, their truck, and you can find them right on their website at ehmeals.com, or you can call them at 254-0078. Now, I have another thing I'm going to say, because we love to talk about Lifespan. We had Grape on today, but Lifespan is our other favorite organization. They're looking for volunteers. If you do that, you can do good and feel good, and there are lots of different volunteer opportunities. No matter what your age, you can become a Lifespan volunteer and learn more about that at Lifespan, what is their website, Mike? Lifespan. I think it's Lifespan uh, Roch. Dot yep. org. Yep. And, um, uh, whoops, hold on one sec. So, uh, and you can also get a hold of them on the phone, of course. And that's five eight five two four four eighty four hundred. And yeah, Lifespan. Lots of different volunteer opportunities. You know, people have different levels of comfort with certain activities. Uh, so a lot of different opportunities. Give Lifespan a call. Um, they could use the help. And as Joanna said, you'll feel good about it. Yeah. And tell them what else will make them feel good. Well, getting out and enjoying this gorgeous weather certainly is going to help them uh, help them feel good um and uh, i think is that what you wanted me to say joanna <laughs> well you can say whatever you want you know i you know <laughs> but yeah no i mean we had some much needed rain earlier this week and that was that was wonderful to uh, to have but this weekend is going to be dry and a little more comfortable from a from a humidity standpoint so yeah get out there and have some fun yeah, it's beautiful. The sun's shining, and I love the 70s. This is the, uh, not the, the years, I love that too, but um, it, the temperature today is going to be perfect for being outside. So get out there, folks. Enjoy. And, you know, it's really healthy for you to get outside and breathe that fresh air. We've been in the, you know, the air conditioning too long, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, so I'm looking forward to getting out myself. And uh, anything else you'd like to tell our folks that, you know, just that good us. advice you usually have? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, as always, I, I want to thank our listeners uh, for spending some time with us on their Saturday. I hope everybody has a good week coming up. Be well and be kind. And I, I love that you say that every week because you can't be reminded enough. And uh, next week we will be back on Saturday from noon till one. I hope you'll join us and tell your friends about it. And um, we are also, we will have uh, some more experts that we bring every week. We try to, uh, you know, bring some education and some fun. Next week, we're going to have Dr. Petrescu with Direct Primary Care. That's an alternative to insurance-based medical practices. It's new to our area, and it is not concierge medicine that's really expensive. So check it out next week. We'll tell you all about it. And then also our friend Fitz from Rockbox will give us a podcast 101 lesson. Podcasts are really fun.